More than 200 remains discovered earlier this year in Old City, Philadelphia, are still waiting to be analyzed and reburied. The discovery was plagued with problems from the beginning, and tonight, archaeologists from all across our region came together to prevent similar problems. Eyewitness News reporter David Spun is in Old City right now with their concerns tonight. David. Hi, Yuki. 250 years ago, Philadelphia had a lot of cemeteries. As time moved on, those cemeteries moved out to what's known now as the suburbs because buildings went up. Well, that didn't happen in this specific case, and that's why tonight this group came out to right several wrongs. These are the remains of Philadelphia's earliest citizens. They were buried here at the First Baptist Church burial ground from 1707 to 1859, the year the bodies were supposed to be moved. Crews in 2017 spent days recovering the remains, a race against time, as the construction site developers were on a strict schedule. 160 years later, this group met to correct those mistakes. More than 50 people packed the Arch Street Meeting House, just two blocks from the discovery. The goal, figure out what to do in the future should more bodies be found in and around the city. It's nice to have a crowd that is obviously so passionate about this topic. Doug Mooney is the president of the Philadelphia Archaeological Forum and says the Arch Street dig was full of problems. Other experts say certain organizations that should have helped with the dig just didn't step up to the plate. Kimberly Moran, who was at the meeting, did step up to the plate. She was in charge of the Arch Street dig. Initially, it was just a box of bones, so it didn't seem like it was going to be the huge project that it turned into. Moran is a forensic archaeologist with Rutgers University Camden, and when she first heard about the bones on Arch Street, she jumped in to help because no one else would. We were there working in the, at the site wondering, why isn't anyone coming to stop us? Moran says the bodies, which will eventually need to be analyzed, are currently molding in storage containers under I-95. Hearing that makes Anna Doty with the Mütter Museum upset, and that's why she came to the meeting. I love the fact that they have a five-point plan to move forward, and I'm just really hoping that we can implement it. Some of the key points of that five-point plan change Pennsylvania's antiquated laws when it comes to this topic. Also put a specific agency in charge should this happen again, and you could bet this probably will happen again with a historic city like Philadelphia. Reporting live tonight in Old City, David Spunt, CBS3 Eyewitness News. David, thank you.